Hey kindergartners! Today I'm going to show you how to make a paper weaving. All you're going to need are two different colors of paper, a pencil, scissors, and either glue or tape. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've got my two colors of paper, um, like a teal blue and a yellow. I'm just going to use the blue for now. I'll be coming back to the yellow. So I'm going to have my paper vertical for this step. That means up and down. So I'm going to make four dots and I want you to try to place your dots in about the same place that I did. Um, near the top but not too close to the edges. So I've got a little space here, I've got a little space there. They're not super close to each other. I know mine aren't perfectly even. This, this space right here is pretty big um, but that's okay. I'm going to draw a line from each dot down to the bottom like that, all the way to the bottom so that it touches. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to use my scissors to cut from the edge to the dot, and when I touch the dot, I've got to stop because I'm not trying to cut this paper apart. I want it to all stay together as one piece of paper. So there was my first. So when I lift these, they can be raised like that, but it's still one piece of paper. It's not coming apart. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside for a second. Now, on my next piece of paper, instead of being vertical like the last one where I have it up and down like that, I'm gonna turn it sideways, horizontal, because I want to cut out some short strips of paper. So I'm gonna make five lines and they can be straight if you want or they can be a little bit curvy. I would not go crazy and do lines like that because that would be very, very, very hard to cut out. Here's one. Two, three, four, I have five strips of paper, one, two, three, four, five. And I have this scrap left over. It's a pretty good scrap, so I'm gonna save it. So I only need one of these strips to start out with. I'm gonna take that one. And I'm gonna bring back my blue paper from before. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to take this yellow strip and I'm going to put it under the first blue piece. So I'm going to lift this up and tuck that right underneath like that. Then I want it to go over the second one. So I'm going to go right across over. Lift up your third one under, over, and under. And I just kind of slid it up as high as I could make it go. Now, for your second strip. Remember, this one started out under, right? I lifted this up. You can kind of see it underneath. 
this one is going to do the opposite. Instead of going under like that one, I'm going to stay on top. I'm going to be over. Then I'm going to lift this one and go under. Over. Under. Over. Slide that one right up. So I made sure that this second one is always doing the opposite of the first one. That one's under, so that one's over. That one's over, so this goes under. And I'm gonna keep up that pattern with the rest of my strips. So if I ever forget which one I was on, all I have to do is look at the last strip that I did and see what it started with. So this one started with over, because the yellow is over the blue. So now I know this needs to go under. Over, under, over, under. And that's all five of my strips. Okay, so this is gonna be the back of my weaving because you can probably see my Sharpie lines from where I drew are visible, especially right up here. And I find that sometimes visible lines can look a little bit messy. So because this is the back where I put my lines, um, this is where I'm gonna tape it down because nobody will be able to see the tape since it's the back. Um, if you don't have tape, that's okay. Glue also works. You can just um, lift up the edges like that and put a little bit of glue underneath. Um, but tape is totally okay because nobody can see the back. Now you don't really need a ton of tape all over everything to make it stick. We just need um, enough on the edges so that they don't slide around. And you'll notice I'm using really small pieces. I don't wanna take a really big piece because that runs the risk of the tape um, folding over itself or getting tangled. We're making a, a big lump of tape, which nobody wants. Okay, that should be enough to hold everything in place. You can see I can kind of shake it and it's not going anywhere. So now I'm gonna flip it over. This is the clean side. Um, there's no marks on it from where I drew my lines. Um, I have a little bit of extra down here. I could take my scrap and weave um, maybe one more piece in there if I wanted, or um, I can just trim this off. And I think I'm just gonna trim it. So I'm just going to cut along the bottom of this last strip. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed weaving. Um, as you get older, we're going to continue doing weaving projects. So just remember, opposite is always key. If a piece went over, the next one should go under, okay? Um, I will see you guys next week for a new project. Bye.